Hello everyone, just Goran here and welcome back to another real life zoo tours and today we are at Zizu, which is a pun that I don't think I'll be able to explain in English. Um, and I'm here with Lukoshi again. Again, yes, I'm here again. Yes, uh, you were very excited for me to visit this place, which yes. really made me excited as well, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and Good. then I learned uh, why. <laughs> Yeah, Zizou is great. It's, it's, it's quite nice. Um, but you're also really excited to take me to Isle Park the Pie. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, but that's very different. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to understand your mind here a little bit. But yeah, um, yeah. It's so very here, different from the uh, Overloan. So, that's for so sure. <laughs> here we are at the entrance building, and we have some, some ravens. Yes. Which is pretty neat. Uh, and also, we saw, uh, as we were walking up to the entrance, we saw a little veterinary um, place. Which is just for regular pets and all that, I think. Could um, be. This is all a very, very new entrance. I yeah. think it's only like a year old. I've I'm only seen it once. Pretty sure. Uh, we'll actually see something pretty cool after we enter the zoo. Um, they've got like a timeline of all their projects and whatnot. Um, but yeah, here we have the ticket booth and like... A gift shop with all sorts of thi fun things and there's actually a lot of really cool posters over here which look really nice i'm not a big fan of the font <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a bit of <laughs> it kind of ruins it a little bit in my opinion but the pictures are nice they are and uh, we also have a little uh cayman lizard enclosure exhibit Whatever you want to call it, <laughs> up there. And there's also no, not up there. There's just some, uh, some, just, just showing off all the details, you know. And we, over here, there's a little exhibit for the uh, Cayman lizard, which we also saw them at uh, the Oli Mole when we were there. But yeah, this is a really cool animal, if you ask me. So, so what is it with you and Zizu, if I may <laughs> ask? That's a good question. Well, um, I like the very... Uh, CISO is very weird in that it's, in my opinion, one of the only zoos in the Netherlands that really tries to still make exciting new stuff. They mm -hmm. get uh, very interesting, weird animals in, and I really enjoy that. So, uh, yeah, especially a couple of years ago, they were one of the only zoos that really still did that, at least with mammals. And uh, I mostly only care about mammals because <laughs> I'm basic like that. But um, yeah, Zizo was just a very small park and very nearby for me. So right. um, and it had like, lots of cool animals. So yeah, that's why I like Zizo. And I really like that the old part of Zizo has the kind of friendly uh, uh, best zoo vibe. And then the new part <laughs> is just gorgeous. Friendly. <laughs> yeah, well, friendly. I mean, like, uh, yeah, yeah, gezellig. You gezellig, know, okay, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very town vibe. So yeah, over here we have a, a bit of a backstage peek. Of course, we, we love those whenever we can get them. <laughs> um, and there's also these, these kind of cool signs as we walk up to the actual zoo part of yeah. the zoo. We've got a sign we just saw about how much all of the animals eat every year. Um, here's some signs about the different biomes, which this zoo uh, focuses on. Uh, a bit more than some other zoos that I've seen. Um, like all of the educational signs really talk about the biome that this animal is a part of and um, they, they try to do something interesting with that. Um, here's a bunch of signs about the different uh, conservation projects that they support as the zoo. Um, so yeah, I, I think of all the like non-EAZA zoos, this one uh, Definitely has a lot of, like, I, I don't see that many other non ASA zoos really focus on this sort of stuff. Yeah, I think they're really trying to become an ASA <laughs> zoo, aren't they? I would yeah. think so, at least, because they're very rapidly expanding. Yeah, we'll see it later, uh, but they even have some signs about <laughs> the ASA in their zoo, so... <laughs> oh, they do, well. Um, and we also just saw, like, a puzzle piece sign, um, which we'll get to in a bit, because I want to talk about this first. This is really cool. Um, yeah, they've got a little timeline of their zoo and all the things that were added. And we can actually see the puzzle piece sign right there. Um, 
uh, but yeah, just the new South America area, the, and as you said, yeah, the new entrance 2020. Uh, but yeah, this is a very new zoo, and it's still rapidly developing, which is really cool to see. Um, but yeah, uh, that puzzle piece sign uh, that we saw um, talks about how this zoo is um, a special <laughs> zoo. It's a care zoo, uh, they call themselves. <laughs> um, many of the employees and caretakers... Yeah, you are. Up, that's me. <laughs> um, but many of the employees here... Um, have uh, autism and this zoo provides people with autism for a place to work just a place where they can yeah just do something productive uh, which is really nice yeah it is and they really put a lot of uh, emphasis on that mm -hmm. that's cool yeah i mean it's kind of one of the things that makes them unique i guess so mm -hmm. yeah over here we have uh, a very recent addition as well, if the sign is to be believed. This is the wetlands <laughs> aviary, but of course... Bird flu. Still bird flu. Oh, man. It's, it's a shame. Like, it looks cool. <laughs> it does. And, uh, and here we have a very small Australia area. Yeah, but a very cool one. Some very nice animals in here, and a very techie boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the the building that's coming up. Actually, has a couple of like education signs about yeah. uh, the Aboriginal language, which I thought was really cool. It is. And the one thing with the new area of CISO is that it's it's starting to become really pretty, but it's still very new with the foliage and everything, which makes mm -hmm. it feel a bit. I don't know. It, it makes it feel a little bit like an intra town. <laughs> <laughs> right, like a gardening store. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Um, I, I do really like the new area a lot, mm. uh, personally. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, over here we have the... I think that's the Eastern Grey Kangaroo. I think so. And there's also Parma Wallaby in here as well. And on the other side, we'll see them in a second. We'll have another little Australia exhibit. And that has the Kookaburra and the Dusky Padamelon. Which, which is an amazing combination. I, I'd <laughs> I never heard of, of the Palamalum. <laughs> yeah, they're cool. But that's that's why I like CISO. They have stuff like that. Yeah, there they are. Right next to each other. <laughs> oh, that's great. I uh, The kookaburra didn't laugh at me. I uh, am yet to... <laughs> oh, man. Yet to see one. <laughs> <laughs> he really doesn't like it. <laughs> yeah, it's animals. They don't, they're they're so also gorgeous. camera shy. <laughs> I like Batamelons. They're very cool. But yeah, I do have to say, like, the the new area and the old area, the contrast is oh, absolutely. so huge. It was, like, I, I walked around the entire new area first, and then got to the old area. <laughs> yeah, you should not do that. You should go is, the other way around. It is jarring. <laughs> yeah, but like in the coming years, they're going to demolish the entire old area, so. Right, okay. That's, so uh, we'll get to that. Because there are signs for that too, so I think you filmed that. <laughs> Probably, I'm not sure. I didn't see that exactly. We'll see. Um, oh, this is going to yeah. be so gorgeous when it's done. Yeah. So this is uh, on the construction. Oh yeah, here we have another Dutch pun that I. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to explain. I know. <laughs> but there's a, a little bee hotel. And uh, yeah, this is what's gonna be like an alpine area. <laughs> and. I do kind of think I know what you mean. Also, another backstage peek over here. <laughs> um, in like that, they're trying to like can keep trying new things, right? Uh huh. Because um, like the design of their habitats is very different. <laughs> yeah, it's all over the place. Everything um, is very different. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of it because they're not like they often stray away from naturalistic elements. Yeah, it's true. To, do something unique, but I'm not sure if I always like it. Like, this alpine area is going to be very much like... It's not going to be a, a natural-looking hill, it's going to be, like, steps. Um, I don't know, because I, I still have no idea what's going to look like, because it's a very, very yeah, it's, weird layout. Yeah, it is. And allegedly, there are going to be snow leopards over there, but I have no really? clue where they are going to be. Yeah, they've been saying for years they're going to get snow leopards, but recently news came out that Wunderdal is getting yeah, snow leopards, so I'm not that. sure if maybe the plans are off, but... 
they used to advertise with snow leopards everywhere within the zoo, so I'm not sure. Right. Well, over here, of course, we have the Vicuna and some uh, large Maras. rodent Maras. Yeah. I think this was the first time seeing Maras for me. Really? I think, yeah. No, not 100% sure. I saw them again like a week later, but. But yeah, I uh, I really like just the openness <laughs> of this area. And here's that's something. That oh I, man! I mean, those those <laughs> islands. They are absolutely terrible. It's it's unique. <laughs> uh, <but> yes, <laughs> very unique. Just like the jaguar exhibits in Besu, very unique. <laughs> but yes, I'm not a fan of these islands. Yeah. But hey, if if the yeah. if the monkeys <laughs> like them, fine. Mm-hmm. Are they uh, there yet? Or are no, they not? they're not. Oh, okay. We uh, will see them in their, in their original habitat first. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. It's not much better. I mean, th these are nice uh, open open fields. Oh, absolutely. I, I really love like this it. exhibit. Although I, I do kind of wish they'd given a little bit more space between the path and the barrier. Uh, to Why? Allow, yeah, just allow for maybe a bit more of a Right, right now, the fence is very in your face. Yeah, true, actually. And, you know, you've got the, the don't an touch the wire because you will get shocked. <laughs> and it's, you saw an active anteater, what? Yeah, no, I, pretty much every zoo I've been to, the anteaters yeah. have oh, been yeah, so active. Oh, yeah, and too. Man, yeah, and Plunkadal as well. And Look at him. Yeah. No, they're <laughs> just out and about, just uh, yeah, that's great. exploring around. So yeah, yeah, of course we just saw the giant anteater, and also we have... Um, <gasps> oh, sorry, the but those islands <laughs> with the fake grass, man, it's tacky. Yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll see them plenty, because we're going Absolutely. all the way around. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so the anteaters, and that's what I find interesting, because um, this is not an ESEA zoo, but they are part of the ESEA Exidu program, I think. Oh, Cause interesting. These anteaters, at least the female, uh, moved in last year from Dortmund, which is like Sue Dortmund is the manager of the giant anteater breeding program in the EEP. So I I guess they have some relations in that sense. Yeah, but I guess so. I'm not I'm not aware of the <laughs> inner workings of these zoos. Yeah, me neither. No clue how that works. But... Yeah. It, this used to be the anteater exhibit. Right, well, it still is. Oh, uh, it they're is. Still, they're still out here as well. Uh, and what's really cool is, right now yeah. we're walking over like a little... Oh, overpass, there he is! And there's an anteater down there. Uh, but they can actually cross under the visitor path here to get from one side of this habitat to another part, which yeah, is on the cool. other side. And uh, yeah, and then here we have, um, well, the other side, but here we have the kind of the, the building, um, which there's an education sign talking about that this is like a, a green, like sustainable building. So oh. like it's climate neutral, uh, I'm pretty sure. So Good. yeah, it's just really nice to see zoos take up on like <laughs> no, leading man. the way. <laughs> just the font. <laughs> oh yeah, no. Beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, this uh, this building is a bit loud, however. Like, yeah. there's, there's fans and all sorts of things just constantly <laughs> whirring around. Um, but, I mean, the birds are loud as well, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've got some, uh, some macaws, blue and yellow macaws, scarlet macaws. And there's also a blue-faced curassow. Which I didn't see. Oh, look at them. Era? I didn't know that, actually. Uh, we'll see them in a second, I think. They're on the other side. Look at how many McCall's are. <laughs> yeah, I think... Uh, that, that was it, right? Yeah, there they are. We're just actually the only person walking around the Zizo this day. <laughs> uh, no, there were a couple of other people. I mean, it was a Friday, I think. Ah. So, 
It was, uh, and it was cold. <laughs> um, though the sun was out, so that was nice. But yeah, at the end of the building, of course, you could see we got some uh, camel habitat, but we'll get there in a second. So this is the indoor area for the anteaters, which is also kind of interesting. I like the the barrels and stuff. <laughs> New, they didn't have that when I was last year. Oh well. This used to be for uh, a South American top here. Oh really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so I those think, weren't there. Yeah, I guess they got rid of those. But yeah, over here of course we got a penny press. <laughs> <laughs> Always have a penny press. St staple of every zoo. Gotta add them to all of your planned zoo projects. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah. And, uh, this does look nice. The habitat is being cleaned a bit. Uh, and then over here we have let's see. Um, oh wow. Plains Fiscaccia? <laughs> Yeah, Viscaccia. Viscaccia. Nice. Never heard of it before. I've never but seen it. them, but I've, I know <laughs> they had them. And then there's a bunch of like Amazon parrots, uh, blue-headed macaws, and some parakeets in here. But in here I do love this little rock uh, yeah, it's cute. formation. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> All the little birdies. Great. Yeah, there they are. In the... I don't know, so weird. Strange. They look really weird, yeah. <laughs> They're actually, I think, in a different spot as well, if I recall correctly. Yeah, I think they're with the uh, with the owl on the other side of the, uh, the planes thing. I'm right. Not sure. But yeah, over here there should be a, a white-nosed kawadi, but he was. Which are way better than regular kawadis. <laughs> I love these so much. But yeah, he didn't he didn't show up. And uh -oh. I guess he was in his box or something. I don't know. Yeah. Those are most commonly very active over here. I see them running around most of the times. Well, I'm pretty sure I saw them a week after in uh, Blancandal, so... Oh, uh, okay, fair. So I, I didn't completely miss out on the, the <laughs> white nose karate action. Good. But yeah, over here we have the camel um, field, which I was so surprised by. Look at how I mean, great everything is. <laughs> I, of course, I... In a, I, in a nice way. I, I knew from, from Overloan that this was a thing, but I didn't know it was that common to have such a low barrier for the camels. Yeah. Yeah, in Overloan it's absolutely insane. At least over here you have the, the rock modes kind of thing, but... Yeah, and then... Oh, wow. A hot Look wire. at them go. Look at them go, they were about to be fed. <laughs> but yeah, here's an outdoor area for the, for the Viscaccia and the parrots and stuff and another view of the, kind of the backstage of the anteater field pacing here around. still pacing around yeah i think she he or she i'm not sure uh was doing this for like most of the day which well, is pretty cool well I mean, yeah they just lay around so well <laughs> there was just a random well there <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> I thought you were making the pun. No, I was not. <laughs> you were perfectly timed for it. I should have been. But... So yeah, uh, here at the camels are also got a sign about like oh, how they're the, helping. The elusive the... mountain goat. <laughs> they, yeah, they are going to move to the alpine area. Yeah, I believe this is one of the only zoos in Europe with those, right? Oh, that <laughs> might be. I um... think so. People told me that at least. Well, I could check, but... <laughs> Maybe they were making fun of me, but I don't know. I don't know anything about... Oh, yeah. All those little signs uh, I kind of yeah. want to point out. Like, there's there's so many. Like, they've got like three or four different signs for don't put your fingers through the fence. <laughs> and they're really it's funny. Tempting, it, it's tempting, though. It's always tempting. <laughs> but yeah, like the sign we just passed said, I don't like acorns, but I do like fingers. Because, <laughs> <laughs> of course... They know people tend to throw things like acorns in here. They weren't the, these peccary were not a fan of me. <laughs> they, uh, they were. <laughs> if it weren't for the fans, I think I would have been tackled. <laughs> I like this exhibit. I like the little shelter thing they have. Yeah, I, uh, I, I really do like the containers, like yeah. their shelter, and they're able to go in it through like a big tire or something. Yeah, that's cute. Uh, but yeah, this is the. Uh, White-lipped peccary. So this is like is... a very tiny... Oh no, there's not even two of us. I was going to say it's a very tiny North American-themed area, but it's not at all. Yeah, the... it's... 
weird. Because we are about to suddenly be thrown in with... <laughs> Russia, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, exactly, so that's odd. It's a little odd, but... I mean... But it's cool. A little bit I, of theming. It's always understandable that you can't, like... Move... A big yeah. aviary like this. Just because... <laughs> at least, I, I'm not sure how this area ended up... Like, the way it is. But. No clue, I think they just build it all together at once. Okay, Pretty then, much. then the choice of stutter seems yeah. might be a little weird, but... But it's cool. Um, it's a I, very gorgeous aviary, this one. I like it. It's it's nice. I am once again. Right not at the moment, it's not very lush. But it's not very lush. I'm and I'm not sure about like the rock work around the pond in the middle. It's like very square once again. Oh yeah. Um, but that's just kind of what the zoo's style is. So I'm not sure <laughs> if I should keep criticizing it. But yeah, it just looks very home built. I see so. And yeah. I, I guess it is, but. <laughs> Yeah, but for me, like I, I'm, I'm just a fan of like more naturalistic yeah, stuff. Yeah, I get that. I like this one. Just a very small, hidden exhibit. Yeah, it's really weird. Siberian it's weasel. Siberian weasel, exactly. Very you cool. don't even need the the signs in the video. You just know. <laughs> I've been here way too many times. Oh, yeah, there he is. is. Yep. Saw him just for a second, like later on in the day. Lucky. Um, yeah, I mean, I I was also unlucky. We'll see him a little bit. Oh, <laughs> um, no, you didn't see the cloud of lepers, did you? Uh, yep. That, that's uh, one of the things I missed. Man. And, a, and another one that I was really hoping to see here. Oh, that sucks. Um, but yeah. So um, yeah, we're going all the way around the uh, lake now with yes. the beautiful islands. Oh man, uh, there's an exhibit in a second and it's absolutely insane. But we'll get there, we'll get there. I never know. I like the theming of the. I have no idea what it is, a water pond thing? Is it an yeah. actual water pond for the uh, for the lake? or? I am not I sure. Not me neither. That would be cool if it was. Um, Because what do you mean exactly? Like... This water pump thing in the middle of this aviary. If it's right. just the actual water pump for the... Uh, lake next to it of the entire step, uh, the, the plains exhibit. Might be, because there, there's some education signs over there about yeah. how all the water um, here is like filtered locally. You would think it would be done. It might be. But oh, yeah. did, you, did you see these? No, that's, oh. what, I was, no, that's what I meant. So Man. we've got a, a interesting once again, like these windows, the choice for these kinds of windows is quite interesting. Yeah, yeah this, why not just one big window? This is the main wolf habitat, oh, which I would have loved to see. Absolutely. But, You've yeah. never seen them, have you? Nope. Man. Not yet. They're close so, I uh, guess we'll have to go back to Zizu one day. <laughs> yes. Once they finish. Or Blydorp. Or are they gone in Blydorp? Uh, they're not in Blydorp, no. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> just every These time. things have the exact same effect on me as the Jaguar exhibits in Besu. I just <laughs> can't help but laugh at them because they're so absurd. Yeah, so here we have a, a Carolina duck, which is just fibered in the lake. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. The bush dogs. They have yeah. five million of them. Yeah, okay, that's what I was gonna <laughs> say as well. Like, it's how, absolutely insane. How many of these animals? Because, okay, so. My, on my first lap, more than 15. on my first lap in the morning, there was nothing out here. I was <laughs> like, oh, okay, whatever. Uh, so I, I came back at the end of the day <laughs> to see if maybe the main wolf had come out. Um, and yeah, I was saddened to still not see a main wolf. But I was <laughs> super surprised at this. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Like, I was just baffled. <laughs> These dogs are so weird. Yeah, but like, is it normal to have this many? I have no clue, but they have <laughs> so many. Because it's not that big of a habitat. No. And the other times I've seen them, I've seen like two or three, but here they legitimately have like 15. Yeah. 
But I think I... they just have like they had litters twice or something, and they just are still here, and that's why they have such a big group. <laughs> yeah, it's that... crazy. Yeah, they, they are loud as well. They yeah, were... they are. I like this exhibit too. Like, yeah, it's oh. cool. They have a lot of like little tunnels and yeah. stuff. That and the fencing in. is weird, but I like it. Oh yeah, they use that in a couple of places. Yeah, the very thick see-through kind of. Things. Yeah, I think the intent, which we'll see, um, look at how much it's moving around. It's like all yeah. the way over here now. Um, <laughs> uh, we'll see when we get to the hyenas. Uh, I think the intent is to have like vines grow over this mesh. Ah. And then you'll have uh, like a, a hedge sort of thing. Uh, vines is not the word ivy, is what I'm looking for. Yeah, this kind of stuff is often used to just have rocks in them, but over yeah. here they have kept them empty. Yeah. So this is what's gonna be for the uh, spider for monkeys. The spider monkeys, yeah. Yeah. But uh, currently there was just some guinea fowl in here. <laughs> what? Not sure. I'm not sure I saw them. Uh, I'm not sure I filmed them, but yeah, inside of that tower there were some guinea fowl walking around, and I was. Interesting. Yeah, it was interesting. <laughs> it's, people. It's... <laughs> there are actual people in here. There's people. Yeah, crazy. Oh yeah, turtles. So, yeah, there's a, a little turtle. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> There used to be a lot of them in this exhibit, I'm not sure if they still are, but... I mean, it was a cold day, so they were probably... Yeah. I was lucky to spot one, because it's like this yeah. huge lake, it's like, oh, yeah, absolutely. spot the turtle! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, and the turtle, by the way, I think is the Cumberland Slider. For those who didn't catch the sign. Um, but yeah, over here we got, uh, there was a little greenhouse, and this is kind of the place that they constructed for people with like autism to have a, a place to work so over here they've got like a few animals that are a bit easier to take care of because uh, you know uh, it is still important that <laughs> you want to be a little bit more careful with like a hyena or <laughs> yeah <laughs> something like perhaps. that um, but yeah this here they've got like some uh, some mice some guinea pigs um, they've got, um, what is it, there's like a squirrel here, I think, I didn't write these down for some reason, <laughs> um, and some gulls, but these, these squirrels in particular are like a, a domestified, uh, squirrel species, so, yeah, I was a little bummed out that this was not accessible <laughs> to guests. So, yeah, same. I had that too when I was over here. But so, whatever. Yeah. You just have to admire it. From it's there. a very pretty little area. Yeah, it's lovely. A lot of care put into it. Yeah. Just like this, nice. this wetlands aviary. It's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. I, wish... I hate the fact that I still haven't been able to walk through because of the stupid bird flu. Yeah. Yeah, so here they talk about like the type of species in here and why they chose these. Um, because yeah, they're like, cool. domesticated and stuff. Um, but yeah, here we we do have a nice little backstage look <laughs> and a look into the aviary. After all, um, we can't walk through it, but we can we can take a peek through here. So we've got uh, some greater flamingo, some spoonbills. Um, I think I saw an ibis. The usual. Like I think yeah, that's a I think that's a glossy ibis. I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, and there's also a white-faced whistling duck. But yeah, this aviary does look really quite nice. It does. It would be lovely to walk through. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, but also here you can clearly see that it's still very new with all of the foliage still being very yeah, um, yeah hand placed. I do always wonder, like, I'm pretty sure, like, because I was uh, like, with how long the bird flu has been a thing. It has been a thing for a very long... Like, more than half a year. Well over half a year. Oh, way more! It has been for, like, two years, I think. No, there, there have been... I think last summer there was a, a small moment in which things oh. were open, but, yeah. like, really soon afterwards it got bad again. Yeah. I, I really wonder why zoos at this point don't just create, like, temporary solutions for the... Because I feel like this aviary in particular, you could really easily net off the visitor side and create yeah, no clue. a thing because the, the area I did it 
but it's kind of really jank and works <laughs> together. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's the jank. Um, but, I mean, they kind of have to, because it's an essential part of the walking route. Like, if you take out the avion, oh, yeah. you cannot get around the zoo, basically. <laughs> okay, well, then they have to. But, yeah, at this point, I really wonder why they don't come up with a, like, more semi-permanent solution that is a little bit better for the guest experience. Um, well, at least that, you can look into the aviary from over here. That's yeah, not exactly. Better. So, yeah. That is yeah. the South America there. area, pretty much. Now we are back at where we came into this area, pretty much. And we're going to my favorite part of the zoo. Are we? <laughs> well, sure. well, yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're going I to the... I have many favorite parts, actually, in the we're zoo. Going, we're going to the rest of the, the new area. I have first. no idea what this is going to look like. I just yeah, have absolutely I think, no like, this clue. looks pretty finished, right? Like, the, the steps, yeah, but I just the way don't, they are now. I don't get it. Is it going to be mesh over here? Is this just, like... Yeah, I don't know park? what the, the wood stuff is about. Oh, honestly. they have a picture! But there is a picture here. They actually have a lot of pictures. Oh! Um, so, yeah, those steps are definitely, like, part of the design and parts oh. of it will be meshed over parts of it won't. okay so this is like confirmed no snow leopards i guess then I that's suppose. a shame and um, yeah oh yeah here is where the discussion was right yeah 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 there it is together with the yucatan squirrel and uh, on the other side oh yeah over here you can also see like all those little white signs um, yeah those are actually across the entire zoo and that's uh donor signs which uh, are able to leave like little messages, uh, which is kind of neat. Yeah, that's great. And there's a lot of them. Like this zoo has a lot of donors. I'm not sure if it's like you have to continue to be a donor to have your sign kept up, or if it's like a one-time thing. Yeah. So over here, this hill is a little bit more natural. So it's a. Uh, it's interesting to see it kind of being worked on. <laughs> yeah, that's been worked on for many years by now. Well, I wonder what, what it will end up being like. We'll have to check it out again. So, downsides of coming here in like still kind of a winter-ish time, like it's been a while since I've been here, uh, is that like stuff like the alligator snapping turtle over here was inside. Yeah. So I didn't get to see those. Yeah, there's a little sign over here that's like, yep, it's too cold for them. Um, but yeah, there is some fish in there. <laughs> um, here's an animal I've also never heard of. Um, yeah, a, it's also very rare in Europe. Alright, it's a common Kusimans? Kusimans. Yeah, no clue how you say it in English. <laughs> Fun yeah. fact, I recreated this exhibit on a one-to-one -one scale in uh, in Planet Zoo. Oh. Inspired by you, just Gorham. Oh. How's that? How's that? <laughs> yeah, here they are. You actually saw them, man. Really, really weird little, little fellas. It's a very cute little exhibit, I like this. Because it, mm -hmm. it looks very decent, but it's also still very, very homemade, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, the only thing is the, the viewing area we're just at, uh, it's really hard to look inside yeah, due I to the that. light. But that's just something yeah, that's that is light. really difficult to, to figure out. So over here we can see the, uh, the little tunnel in action. So we've got an anteater on this side, and there they've got a little tunnel huh. where they can uh, head underneath and go under the visitor path to the other side. And they do need to kind of duck down a, a <laughs> little bit, I feel. <laughs> like, it's not... It's not the oh, most well. comfortable. They have to crawl a little bit, but... <laughs> they managed. They managed. And yeah, over here we also have some... Uh, agouti. We've got the Azara's Agouti. Which are chilling under this little shelter. In the grass. So it was nice to see them outside as well. <laughs> Up in the thing. Yeah, this uh, this is the building that we were just in from the other side. 
I kind of need a. I, I did struggle a little bit in this zoo to pick, like a, a. Yeah, I get that. It's very loopy. It's it's loopy. It's a bit of a maze. Uh, there is but no. I like. I personally, I like that, but I can see how that's very. Uh, it's not easy to make a video out of it. <laughs> I'll say that it's, it's it's just, yeah. Uh, of course, I'm. For for the purposes of what I'm doing, I'm just like I want a one root seal. <laughs> but... Streamlined experience. Oh wow! We also have mm -hmm. a lot of these these dolls. Yeah. A bunch of them. Yeah, these were nice to see. Yeah, they're cool. And uh, what we can also see around here is like that kind of rock moat is kind of uh, a kind of reoccurring thing around yeah. this part of the zoo. They've got it all over the place here. Uh, and we just saw the uh, red crowned crane as well. Got to point out the, the wetlands DLC animals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah. like this this vibe here with the, the rock moats everywhere and the very grey, uh, what's it called, gravel. As a mm -hmm. bob, it's a very distinct style, which is not in any other zoo. So yeah. this, like this, what you see right now, that kind of style is just very, very easy. So at least mm -hmm. a new area just has yeah. this vibe. And I like that. But it's still a bit a bit dead, but you were here when it was like winter, so yeah, right it now it, right now when you go now it's absolutely gorgeous. It's very lush and green and it looks very great together with all the grey. It looks yeah. absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, most upcoming videos are still gonna be a little bit dead. <laughs> but <laughs> we'll we'll get some some spring and summer vibes. Like the Blight Up video is literally gonna have snow in it, because it was like the <laughs> one day of the year <laughs> it just decided to snow in April. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, over here we have uh, the African wild dogs, which were uh, off exhibit, or like, I think they were just gone uh, altogether. I'm not sure if they're gonna get new ones or if anything else is gonna happen to them. But... Knowing CISO, they probably will get new ones. Or they will get something even cooler. <laughs> which is hard, something cooler than African wild dogs. Yeah, I did like that little uh, education exhibit showing like tracking collars yeah, and traps absolutely. and other stuff. And I also quite like actually the uh, Africa sign in the exhibit like moving the education into the exhibits so that like you yeah, know, stuff as cool. you're looking at the animals that's quite cool and yeah over here we have the backstage of the dolls and <laughs> this does look terrible with how <laughs> bare it is but I yeah. think that's and over here Why uh, should... sorry <laughs> yeah no go ahead here you can kind of see like the, the fencing we saw at the bush dogs as well. Uh, with, but here the ivy is already kind of growing on it a little bit. Oh yeah. Um, and yeah here we have a little backstage where we can see an African ground hornbill. Which <laughs> is just kind of vibing there. <laughs> I guess it will be put on exhibit somewhere at some point, maybe. Who knows what's on, what's going on there. But yeah, here you can see that ivy kind of oh, yeah. trying to grow on it. Uh, <laughs> So I guess sense. once that grows out, uh, you actually have a very limited view of the hyenas. But yeah, here we've got... Um, yeah, so this is all gonna be grown over at some point, I would assume. Uh, and you won't be able to peek into it like I'm doing now. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> that transition was <laughs> really stupid. <but laughs> <laughs> amazing amazing yeah i at this point like i didn't realize that the intent was at least i'm assuming that's what it is uh, for the ivy to grow over it so i was like what is this stupid fence i can't see shit <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I guess you're not really meant to because we'll, we'll get to the actual viewing area in a yeah. second but yeah i do like how um like even though it's very loopy as we discussed, like you do go all the way around, like yeah, pretty much all of the exhibits, cool. you get to see it from many different angles. Yeah, that's really nice about this new area. Yeah. And I mean, the maze doesn't really start until we get to the old area. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and I like yeah. it especially for animals like hyenas and dolls who walk around a lot. So mm -hmm. you can walk around the entire exhibits, the chance of you not seeing them are very slim. <laughs> Like yeah, if you exactly. could walk around the entire main wolf exhibit, the chance you would see them would be much bigger. Yeah, and I do really like this, uh, like the big hill. Yeah, it's great. 
uh, with all the shelters inside of it. Uh, the hyenas do have a chance to kind of hide behind it if they want to. But yeah, they are around. I really like this. Yeah, this is really nice. Yeah, this area with the, the, the hyenas and the dolls is very pretty. Yeah. Yeah, we got some more of those uh, little signs. They are, they can be found all around. Uh, and also the little benches, I think you can also sponsor to like adopt a bench. Oh. <laughs> um, they've got a lot of different um, things, I guess. When you're uh, like a smaller zoo, you gotta do what you can to yeah, true. earn something extra. I really like how, I'm guessing this is done intentionally, how there's like a hole in the ivy around here that creates like a little viewing area. Yeah. And uh, the battler, one of my favorite birds. Oh, they're gorgeous. They're so cool. But yeah, I like that little peak hole <laughs> through the ivy. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I can see another bird. But yeah, now we're kind of heading uh, back, <laughs> back into the new area. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, I did not know what would be the best way. Yeah, there is no best way, because you no. just have to make circles, otherwise you're not going to see everything. Yeah. This is my favorite part of the zoo. This is so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I like this so much. So yeah, this is a little aviary for a bunch of different birds. Like, but there weren't really any out. <laughs> yeah, and this was entirely... That's Yeah, that, that little sign. This entire mm -hmm. exhibit is uh, made by some... Uh, what is it? A, a foliage store, a gardening store. Right. That's why it looks absolutely insane. That's and cool. this is so cool. I love this so much. It's yeah, so pretty. instead of like being up against the fences for uh, those animals in the back. Yeah, the binturongs, right? Um, or no, no, no way. No, binturongs uh, are further ahead. Uh, this is the. Uh, what are they called? Yellow throated martin. And oh, there's also a white nosed kawadi here. Oh, really? Uh, supposedly. Um, but yeah, you've got like a habitat in front of you, which has uh, like little pond turtles, uh, and there's three spined spickleback, which are little fish, which should be swimming around here. But yeah, you you have to look at the cages for like those more arboreal enemies, uh, enemies, what animals, <laughs> um, from out here. Yeah, this does look really nice. Very cute. With all those remotes and stuff, animals weren't really out, so that's a that's a shame. But yeah, so let's head to the uh, the main viewing area of the dolls, which we've been all around the exhibit, but uh, it's been covered up by mesh and fence. So let's look through the windows for a second. Uh, I'll be real with you; I had no clue that they had a main viewing point. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm <laughs> guessing that's what we're about to see is yeah. this is a really weird thing yeah like, this is odd there's there's a habitat for northern luzon giant red yeah. giant cloud red <clears throat> which is what a name <laughs> yeah <laughs> but um uh, like it's yeah, inside of the you thing anything. you can't see anything but the reflection it's yeah, that's a shame because the idea is all the same like we just said with the the martins and the kawadis but mm -hmm. it doesn't work if you have glass <laughs> And if you have also mesh in front of that, and yeah, yeah, but yeah, this is kind of the. I'm guessing this is the main view because it's yeah, like through a window and stuff. They're very pretty. They are so pretty, yeah, and they also have a little car inside of yeah. the habitat. <laughs> God, these birds! <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, here's a, here's a little car for. Uh, Doll Projects, Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute. So, and there we have the red crown crane on the other side as well. But yeah, now I think um, we're going to have a little look at the Binturong and then we head back to the kind of hyena area. Good. The Binturong. Where, yeah. Yeah, so I, 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 I've seen a Binturong now. Oh. Uh, we're about to see it. But I'm not sure if I can count it. Like he was, oh no, he was a little like far away. And that's how you often see bintrungs. 
Like you want to Eben, Eben, like I went to Burgess with Eben, <laughs> and we didn't see the Binturong. The day after, he sends me a beautiful picture of the Binturong. They were like... I've been to Burgess many times in my life, but I've never seen the Binturong there. Yeah, I'm That's really jealous of Eben. Done. Well, but yeah, here, um, see him? here's one, uh, but yeah, he's facing us with his back and he yeah. doesn't seem to be having a great time, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not sure what was up, but um, yeah, let's head back to the hyenas. Oh. So, <laughs> that one's also not one. having a great time, I think. Yeah, probably had a little bit of a scuffle with, uh, with the other hyenas, but... Um, so yeah, we're back at the hyenas. Uh, wow, the we're hyenas. back at the hyenas because uh, I figured I wanted to approach the old area through here to not like miss out on anything. So over here we have a lovely uh, black-tailed prairie dog habitat. I'm really big fan of this one. It used to be way better because they used to have North American porcupines as well. Then this oh. was just a, uh, such a great little exhibit, and now it's it's a bit boring. But it's still pretty. The theming is very cute. Yeah, I like the theming. Uh, yeah, we also have the... Uh... Very tacky, but very cool. <laughs> I mean, sometimes tacky is good. Absolutely. Um, yeah, we also have the Fantil Pigeon over here, which are looking pretty cool. They're all around. And yeah, so you've got this, this these train tracks going all the way through the habitat, and the kind of indoor areas of the animals are in the train cabins and I think that's really cool and I don't know what was going on there <laughs> uh, Paradox were having a, a bit of a time <laughs> but yeah I think this definitely stands out uh, among like Paradox habitats because they Some do fair. usually like have kind of the same elements yeah true no, I like the one in Blydorf the most. I think Blydorf does it really well. Mm. With them being at eye level and such. I think that's very cool. That is cool, yeah. Amosford is also really nice. And I think that pretty much concludes most of the black tilt prairie dog <laughs> habitats I've seen. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, over here, we, uh, as we get to the end of the prairie dogs, we also have like a peak fruit ivy here to get, like, uh, see the backside of the hyena habitat, like behind the hill. But once the ivy grows uh, a bit further, you won't be able to see that anymore. And here it is. <laughs> the most suspenseful exhibit of the entire zoo. They've the cloud of leopards. I've been digging through the fence a little bit here. Oh, they have? <laughs> well, not, not like through the fence, but that's yeah. like... It's right. Uh, yeah. So, I love this, uh, this little metal pigeon. Uh, pigeon? What? Pigeon. <laughs> but yeah, here we get to the... Cloud of Leopard Habitat. And My heart ju just starts racing when I've been here so many times just hoping for them to see them, but you never see them. Uh, yeah, so here's a little, here. little education sign about the EAZA and the breeding programs and stuff like that. So, cool. yeah, when I saw this, I was like, wait, but they're not part of the EAZA, are they? <laughs> it's a love letter. <laughs> please note this. <laughs> please, <us>. please note this, <laughs> Senpai. Yeah, but this, this is... Uh, great. A cool habitat, yeah. It is. It's a bit on the small side, I guess, but it, it makes up for yeah. that in very... Just having lots of stuff for them to climb on. Mm -hmm. being very vertical. Yeah, it's very vertical indeed. And, I mean, there is quite a... Like, Look, here it is. On the right, bottom right, snow leopard. Right. Yeah, I saw it's it just for a animal, split second. It's all animals in the seesaw, but then there's just a snow leopard, which just messed me and my brother up when we were over here once. <laughs> we were like, <laughs> Where is it? We were like, wait a second. Those are not here. <laughs> oh. Don't Hello. be sad, Spider Monkey. You're going to get a great, beautiful new exhibit soon. <laughs> beautiful iron. <laughs> We've seen it. It's great. You're going to love yeah. it. You're going to love it. <laughs> yeah, so this is the old Spider Monkeys. And oh, this but, hyena exhibit is great. Yeah, I kind of rushed ahead when I saw the hyena habitat. I was like, oh my god, I want to see that first. Because <laughs> yeah, one of the main reasons I want, really wanted to visit this place was to see the striped hyena. Because... Yeah, so, so for cool. anyone watching right now, we're going to into the the old area. You need to really prepare yourself. The old area yeah. is a bit of a step down. Yeah. But it, the good news is it's all going to be torn down soon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, this is here we have a Kia, um, and I 
I got so lost when I got in here because I was like, okay, yeah. I want to go over there. Can I? Can I go there? No, wait. No. Yeah, you really just... need to approach the old area from the 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 old entrance. Mm. I really need to get rid of it now because entering it from the new uh, side it just yeah it doesn't work anymore. Right. Yeah. The old entrance wasn't open. I think. Hmm. Uh, yeah. yeah, no, it isn't, actually. You're right. Here we have a white back vulture. Always cool. Always cool. I like. I do like this. Uh, these little areas thrown about. They kind of remind me of, of Zuveltova as well, which we'll see at some point. <laughs> um, I've got so many videos yeah. <laughs> pre-recorded. It's crazy. Um, it's just yeah. pretty... I like that all of the other exhibits are built around the Aeon exhibit, so you mm -hmm. kind of have the same effect as with the, the Martins uh, a second ago, that you have, you can look through different exhibits to just see the Aeons in the back, that's, that's fun. Mm -hmm. And here you have that too, like <laughs> an apiary yeah. rounded by, uh, what is it, alpacas? Alpacas and... Uh, Very odd. Oh wow, you, like that. you see them outside. Is. Yep. So I was kind of surprised by uh, how low this fence was, but then I noticed that it's got like hot wires all around it. So. Oh, it does. Is this yeah. a striped? Yeah, that's a striped hyena. Oh, I love striped hyenas. Yep. Great. And over here... Um, wait, do we actually go there? Yeah, okay, we do go there. Over here we have the Nutria, which... Uh, it's a new exhibit. <laughs> yeah, well, we, I was going to say we uh, didn't see these at Amersfoort because uh, the last one had passed away because these are an invasive species and European zoos are no longer allowed to breed them. So they just have to kind of... Oh. They're allowed to keep whichever they have, but they're not allowed to breed them and once they die, then that's it. So that's, uh, Actually, they've got some signs about that as well, I think. So There's a bunch of species that... That counts for like the, the raccoons and the kawadis. <laughs> but yeah, here we have the alpaca with the aviary in the middle. Yeah, very odd, but I like it. Oh, hello. I think here it works better because yeah, the aviary, uh, first of all, the, the space around it isn't that big. Yeah. Uh, so you do still get a good view of everything. And the birds that are in the aviary are quite large ones. Yeah, it's true. That helps. Yeah. It's, uh, it's crowned cranes and... Uh, <laughs> this is also very uh, tacky. This is the oak pillar. I like it though. Yeah. Yeah, so this is uh, <laughs> actually quite interesting. We're about to see as well like the concept art for this area. Yeah. Um, which I do like that they put in places because it's very interesting to us. I don't I've know. had a very heated arguments about this squirrel exhibit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was interesting like this is like the the SketchUp model of the bear habitat. You can see like an elevated viewing point and all sorts of cool stuff that is not at all what's there now. Yeah, so absolutely. A lot of that got scrapped, but that's kind of interesting to see. Wait, no, 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 no. They they are going to build that. Oh. Yeah, that's the plan. That's the entire old area gone, and that's going to be what's going to be there now. Right. I completely misinterpreted that. Okay. I thought that there. was like the original plan. Oh, no, 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 it's like yeah. 10 times as big as what it is right now. Oh, that's it's cool. It's going though. to be absolutely huge, but right now it's, uh, it's yeah, not the, yeah. not the best. Bear crossing. <laughs> yeah. The bear minimum theming. <laughs> the bear minimum, yeah. Yeah, that was the joke. Yeah, great, great, <laughs> great. But yeah, this uh, is all I saw of the bear. <laughs> oh, <Sadly. laughs> At the end of the day, he was just inside of his little tunnels, and I wasn't able to hmm. see him. But yeah, I do um, love the Christmas tree scroll exhibit <laughs> okay, over here. Good. I know a lot of people who absolutely hate it. <laughs> I'm also on the park that I like it. I mean, if you could pick between just a square little cage or this, this is way more fun. No, this is so bad it's good territory, come on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And uh, we've got the staple zoo animal the Indian peafowl. Amazing. Can't have a zoo without them. <laughs> but yeah, I do like... Um, like, they... They made very good use of their space. Oh, absolutely. In this area, which I think... It, it like, gets this even is, better. 
this is probably where like the zoo started out, I assume. Yeah. Um, because that's why it's the old area, doo -doo. <laughs> And um, I like that they just they, you enter the new area, and the first thing you have over there is clouded leopards. It, that's just such a statement. Like, mm -hmm. okay, you're entering a new area here. It's one of the coolest animals in the entire planet. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, but yeah, everything here is uh, very jam-packed together. Mm -hmm. And very best too. Very best too. Yeah, that's. <laughs> That is a way to describe it. It doesn't yeah. really say. It doesn't really say much to the viewers. Well, <laughs> the viewers who know best who will agree. I will know what that means. Yeah. And, <laughs> I, and I don't know how my Twitter poll is doing, but I'm I'm polling what the next episode should be. I and saw, best, and I voted best who, and it was yeah, best who was getting uh, quite a few votes. So um, it's currently tied with Plunkanel. Oh, so okay. we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> But yeah, I did actually go to Best Zoo right after I went to this zoo. Like, on the same day. That's <laughs> Yikes. So, um, yeah, I uh, definitely got the vibes down. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Here we go. A lovely Vietnamese pheasant. It's a pretty little exhibit, too. I like it. It's, uh, it's again, just making really clever use yeah. of all the space. And the interior is pretty nicely done. I mean, like, once you... Like, when you're... A little zoo just starting out like there there isn't much you can like i can criticize this area but it's just a product of the time and budget that yeah, they I had when they built it um so like f for what it's worth uh, they they did what they could right absolutely <laughs> uh also kind of interesting we just saw underneath the education sign for for these cameroon sheep um sheep there was a little like sponsor sign uh, or like a commercial basically it's like the animals in this zoo eat this brand of food oh yeah here it is <laughs> did you know that uh, even <laughs> even they they feed even us carog dog food <laughs> very good gotta gotta make money somehow <laughs> But here you can kind of see a light version of the entire style of the new area. Also the gravel and a little bit of the rocks. But mm -hmm. Yeah. This aviary is so out of place because it's so nice. <laughs> Just look at them. That's great. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Birds are cool. <laughs> That's like, a statement. Do, doing, doing, these, doing these videos, uh, like... Like the more I research stuff, the more I'm getting like the more I get interested in them. So, like when I was at Burgers, I, we really tried to find like all the birds and whatnot. But also, this zoo has some really cool birds. We're actually gonna see uh, see one later on. That was really cool. Um, but yeah, what's this again? This was the I am Semani. Which was some kind of rare Indonesian chicken. <laughs> but yeah, here we are back at the uh, spider monkeys. Once again. And they're still just sitting in the same spot. <laughs> and the spider yeah. monkey exhibit is <laughs> not very good. I mean, they've got a lot of stuff to climb on. Yeah, that's true, but it just looks depressing. Yeah. I think the spider monkeys are completely fine with it, but just as a visitor, it looks mm -hmm. a bit depressing, especially when. On the other side of the, <laughs> you have this hyena exhibit, which is yeah. very lush and pretty. Yeah, and that's something you kind of also need to consider mm -hmm. in like zoo design. Is like the animals might be fine with it, but like there's a visitor perception of things. Yeah, uh, this I thought was pretty cool to see in the backstage of the hyena. There's like the protocols of like what to do in case of an escape <laughs> and how to how to manage the animal. <laughs> Um, what what not to do? That's not a good. <laughs> <laughs> what to do uh, in case when like the rules oh, of handling man. dangerous animals? <laughs> it, I mean, it's it, it is cool. not. It, it's cool to see. It's not very reassuring. No, but it is. Cool <laughs> but it's cool. <laughs> and you can actually see those, um, like protocols hanging in different backstages, and even in some of the aviaries, you could see them. So, some education signs about uh, conservation projects regarding the spider monkeys. And we can also see the indoor area over here. Uh, he was trying to catch a fly, <laughs> which was on the window. <laughs> on the outside. 
<laughs> no, on the inside. Oh, okay. <laughs> he wasn't doing a great job. <laughs> Are you but yeah, it's always camera? nice. Man, <laughs> that's embarrassing. Shh. <laughs> it gets the attention of animals. True. It's worth it. <laughs> but yeah, it's always nice to see a little, uh, get a little inside view. Oh, actually, so, oh, this is pretty. This is nice. Is it? <laughs> well, I mean, the path is nice. The indoor, the path, okay. yeah, the right. exhibit itself is not nice. I was focused on the exhibit. Yeah, no, this Asian small card other exhibit is not very good. Well, this indoor part is fine. The indoor but part is fine, but this, <laughs> what is this? Yeah, this Honestly. is not very good. Like for Nutrias, this is fine. Mm -hmm. It's a, yeah. This is also once again. I think the others are fine with this. But yeah. for the visitors, it's a bit a bit depressing. Yeah, just the little staircase made out of mesh. And <laughs> just yeah. How... the the jank of this is. Yeah. I I mean I love seeing stuff like this for like as a Planet Zoo player, <laughs> uh, as a zoo designer. <laughs> eh, it's painful, but. <laughs> uh, same. If I, you like I, jank. I, I really like jank. Just seeing. Uh, Zeus made the, it just looks like it was made by some guy mm -hmm. <laughs> who had a bit of time on his hands and wanted to keep some others. And still lost them. Yeah, I like that vibe, but it's uh, it's also yeah. But as CISO is growing, they can't really get away with that anymore. Which is why they're mm -hmm. trying to get rid of everything. Yeah, yeah, and it's kind of interesting because even even those like project plan things, just the semi simple like SketchUp pictures. Yeah. Still, kind of keep that vibe. Yeah. Like it's definitely evolving. It's getting better. Yeah. But. It's getting out of hand. <laughs> this is also uh, has very mixed opinions. This exhibit, I like it, but many people don't. I think, I think it's, it's cool. fine. It's a bit industrial, but I think that's okay. It's just extra stuff for the tyrant to climb on. Yeah, I mean, there's just a lot of. Uh, yeah, it's a tyrant, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's just a lot of mesh, but that's kind of you get used to it because this zoo has a lot of mesh. Yeah. Uh, which we also saw like the Binturong and the Hounded Leopard. It's like these mesh columns. Yeah, um, for these tyrants, the the mesh is just an extra climbing opportunity, so that's yeah. better than glass for them. Mm -hmm. I would think. Yeah, and he was very active, like climbing. Yeah, tyrants always are. They're fun. Mm. They're Arctic. Oh no, Corsic Fox. No, Corsic Fox. Yeah. Fun. The staple small zoo animal. All small <laughs> zoos in the Netherlands, of course, like foxes. And they shoot because they're awesome. They are really fun. They are really pretty. Hello. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. Like, oh, it's, it's got a little bit of food, yeah. but he was like kicking a stick. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, these uh, exhibits all have kind of the same yeah. vibe. Like, you can definitely tell that. They just built like five exhibits and yeah, just, just used just them for whatever animal. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this was kind of fun. Uh, yeah. First, we have the Nutrias from the other side. Uh, they do have like these little pools and. Yeah, I think they're it's just a fine nature exhibit. Scratchy butt. <laughs> um, but yeah, over here we've got a little little guinea pig. Uh, <laughs> tower and you're allowed to pet them you are so, yeah like they open it up and it says like you're allowed to pet them so i'm like oh yeah hello i'm gonna pet you now and they all ran away <laughs> <laughs> i spoiled it a little bit but yeah they uh, they, they <laughs> were not they were not interested so and then i felt bad for interrupting their, their shame their meal. They're all hiding yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, I don't see so, him. He so much for that. Me. But yeah, I thought it was fun. It's a little. It is. It's cute. And it's uh, it's safe. And hello. Oh. So yeah, here we have more of those. Uh, same kind of habitats. This one is netted over, of course, because the shovel is a bit more. Agile. Uh, agile. <laughs> a bit more uh, climbing. Okay. Climb, pr prone to climbing and jumping and stuff like that. But yeah, this is 
Also a decent habitat. It's actually. nice. It's a bit on the small side, I guess, but... Yeah, and it could... At least they're not basing around the, the sides of the exhibit, they're basing around inside. That's a good yeah. sign. And it, it could be a bit more lush, I suppose. But... Yeah, true. But it's, it's also like... winter. Yeah, and it's a grassland animal, actually, so... That's true. Yeah, maybe if we look at... That little aviary. There's some storks inside. Hey, that's what that's what the other was. Got crown crane and storks. So, yeah. And the storks are breeding on their little nest. And there's also like uh, bigger. There, there's not a nest there yet, but you can tell that they like, provide the opportunity. Man, I was a big bath a week ago, and they had a bunch of storks. Yeah, everywhere. it's crazy. <laughs> everywhere, yeah, all over the place. Dierreich is the same, and. Uh, when I was at Plankendal, uh -huh. uh, like a, 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 a month and a half ago ish, um, it was insane. Like the entire zoo, you just heard the sound of, of storks, <laughs> uh, like clapping their beaks. It's crazy. I like this exhibit. I think this is cute. I like the, mm -hmm. the climbing structure. It's also a bit, it's a very small zoo ish, but it does that very well. <laughs> Yeah, I mean this is this is nice. It's just yeah. like nice wooden, a bit more naturalistic. Yeah, it's very cheap and very homemade, but it's very good. I just it looks nice, and I think right. raccoons should have janky exhibits. It's their yeah, vibe. It fits it. Like even blighter. Uh, yeah. like, I wouldn't say like, no. The blighter habitat is any more fancy. I think than this genuinely one. one of the best looking raccoon exhibits is ironically in Beth Zoo, and that <laughs> says something. They are not doing a good job. But yeah. Yeah, it's cute. He's just kind of chilling on the roof over there. In, in the sun. In the sun. I mean, I'm glad I had like a nice sunny day. Yeah, I get that. It was still pretty cold, but... Man, I'm it trying doesn't to remember. look cold. Sorry? It doesn't look cold, so for the video it's great. Yeah, yeah, exactly. My hands were dying, but... <laughs> <laughs> Wow, a bear. Wow, what? <laughs> um, yeah, I was here, for those who are wondering, I was here at the like beginning of March, like the 11th of March. So, kind of like end of the winter, start of spring. But yeah, this has one of my favorite birds for, for this zoo, I think, <laughs> other than the Bettler. Um, but yeah, we'll get to see it in a, a little bit later. We're going around it first, so... Over here's the indoor area for the Kirk's Dick Dick, which didn't get to see. Which is not surprising, because they're a very shy animal. But it is kind of surprising to see Dick Dick, like, they're not that common. But I guess, like, you've been saying, like, the zoo focuses really on getting some, like, interesting rare mammals. Yeah, that's true. So what's interesting about this uh, this habitat is first of all there's rocks holding the roof <laughs> yeah. on there, um, but also like there's like a possibility to separate the habitat down the middle, which I learned from reading like husbandry manuals that that's something you want to be able to do with uh, meerkats, since uh, sometimes the group has like conflict, <laughs> and you want to be able to separate the two groups. So it was kind of nice to see stuff like that here. Um, what I don't get about the Miracle's Habitat, which I think is something... Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to show it again, so I'm just going to say it now. There's like the little glass dome thing that you normally have where you can like go into the Miracle's Habitat. <laughs> but it's just there. Yeah, I don't think you can reach it. No, no, not at all. I, yeah, think, it I think it's for the Miracles, but... <laughs> oh, is it? That's... Fun. I, I have I, no idea what it is. It's, uh, it's a bit know. odd. It's so odd, but I mean, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's there. And here I was like, you can you can see me think like, <laughs> where am I supposed to go? I just didn't know anymore. Um, so I went around this way. What well, we have? Uh, yeah, the meerkats are in here now, uh, together with the Red River Hawks. So we've got. Uh, Classic combination. 
uh, a regular Timon and a bootleg Pumbaa. Still, <laughs> still not as good as Big Bear, huh? where they're both bootleg. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, what what's interesting here is that you've got like all the, the like meerkat yeah, I love like that. All the things. mongoose species are over here. That's great. Yeah. Uh, lots of people hate this area because it, it is very, uh, yeah, I don't know, it, it's very jank, but I like it. I'm going to say it, I like it. It's it's I, cool. I think for the mongoose, it's it's fine. I think they yeah, don't no, like it. They've got plenty of space and yeah. stuff like that. It is and it's very... really cool with all the different ones together. Mm -hmm. I like that. But to be honest, I do, like, the layout of it is very, like, efficient, which is of course understandable but the yeah. fact that you can see that as a visitor is a bit <laughs> yeah it's true i, I like this little aviary too it's very mm. small but it's it's cute yeah and those birds are really cool yeah and it's nice it it, it has nice theming for such a what was a small zoo mm -hmm. <laughs> what was it yeah yeah it isn't anymore yeah um yeah we're gonna go around and over here we've got the smallest of the the mongoose habitats. And the best. We've got the dwarf mongoose. Uh, and what I found really interesting about this habitat is that you've got a little mirror yeah, up there, <laughs> so you can look behind the um, kind of thing in here. Yeah, that's uh, but the yeah, best. the mongoose were a little spooked by me, I think, so they kept. And their in indoor there. exhibit is inside of the penguin exhibit. That's also odd. That is odd, actually. Now that you mention it. I hadn't really thought about that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I guess it is indeed kind of yeah. uh, inside of that avian. But yeah, over here you've got the mirror. Which is <laughs> a little dirty, but it still works. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Um, but you can use that to kind of look That's behind. And uh, there's also a rock in the water bowl to make sure <laughs> that it doesn't fly away or something. <laughs> Um, and, sir, that is not how you drink out of a water. Yeah, that's not how it works. <laughs> but yeah, it's cute. It's definitely cute. And yeah, over here you've got the actual viewing point for the Red River Hog and Meerkats. I like all the brushes they have. Mm -hmm. but yeah, just your average peccary or hog yeah, exactly. <laughs> exhibit, lots of logs and stuff just kind of thrown about. Intentional mess. And yeah, once again we get like all the way up to the side of the zoo. Yeah, it's uh, cute. It doesn't work in a new area because the new area is very natural, but mm -hmm. over here with all of the jank I like the... Yeah, it's just fine. It and makes sense. Provides. Yeah, it makes sense that they want to use the space as efficiently as they can. That looks cute too. All the tunnels. Yeah, so many tunnels. Yeah, for the uh, porcupines. The Indian crested porcupine. Yeah. And also the yellow mongooses are not. Uh, I didn't see any. No. Hmm. Because you saw a yellow mongoose in the uh, in the tower thing. Right. So I'm not sure if that's this exhibit or the next one. I guess the next one. No, the next one is for. Yeah, maybe they do. I think maybe they are here. able to go in here then, but I yeah, because, because, because the porcupine would never fit through the gate. Actually, that <laughs> <laughs> no way the porcupine. Well, would they? Uh, I'm not sure, but they probably the mongoose were probably inside then. That's why I spot them. Oh, you going those. to prove me wrong instantly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just gotta wait oh, yeah, before they can prove you wrong. <laughs> but yeah, here we got the bandit mongoose. Yeah. So they were. All also a bit spooked of me oh. <laughs> and i got spooked of them because yeah. they were spooked of me so we spooked each other a bit but yeah i do like the tower that's an interesting yeah it's very interesting i think are they able to climb like all the way up there that's kind of cool like there's like a little ladder on the side oh yeah yeah they should i think that's for the yellow mongooses yeah though. probably because we saw them up there. <laughs> I don't think that uh, porcupines are going to walk over that log. <laughs> Probably that would not. be amazing if they did. But I don't think they will. Yeah. I do, like, the mongoose have so much space. Yeah, that's great. I believe there was 
a buried fox in here for a while instead of the oh, mongooses. That might be. I I'm think I think things this is built up. in such a way that they can like yeah. adjust the size and stuff a bit whenever needed. Yep. I mean, this is the bears. And this is the bears. Yeah. What so. are they? American black bears? Or yes, they are yeah. American black bears. That's cool. Yeah. Very boring for Americans, but for us, that's very interesting. <laughs> yeah, for us, that's very you interesting. Never see them over here. And there's also a little sign over here that's like, oh, we know that one of one of them's injured. We know we're keeping an eye on it. Just to not worry there. To not worry, I guess. Or probably they got like a million people saying, that one's yeah, injured. <laughs> Fine, we'll put up a sign. <laughs> but yeah. No, yeah, I actually found out the other day how hard it is for us to see an Asian black bear. Like, oh, yeah. They aren't really anywhere. I think. Oh, yeah, but this this is the bird. <laughs> that is so freaking cool. Um, and while I was like... <laughs> the gold pheasant. <laughs> it's cool, okay. It's not a bird, uh, Goron. What? This is a squirrel. Okay, yeah. But this is a bird. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. And that was the provost squirrel, by the way. Uh, but the gold pheasant is just so freaking beautiful. Wait, you were trying to... <laughs> you were genuinely talking about a golden pheasant. But it's cool! You're going to see so. You have clouded leopards, maned wolves, and you... <laughs> yeah, I was just excited because I knew what kind of bird it was. I was like, hey, that's a pheasant, and it's gold. <laughs> hey, I know that one. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. But look at the They colors. are pretty. They, they are, are pretty. gorgeous. And my favorite bird is still the battler here, probably, but... Battler is pretty. Caesar doesn't have a, a lot of birds. Which is why I like Cizo. <laughs> you don't say that to uh, Koda. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> he watches these videos, look how she, you're done for. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, Koda, we'll see. I'll see you in the comments. Yeah, and this is a good check to see if he actually watched the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. If we haven't bored him out yet. <laughs> we would never. But yeah, here we are in the other side of this path. Where we saw... A beautiful pillar earlier. <laughs> yes, fantastic. Is it a llama or an alpaca? I never get them apart. I think it's an I alpaca, right? I think these are alpaca, yeah. Um, okay. But oh yeah, but it's this it's linked to this exhibit. I thought it was yeah. a separate one. Yeah, oh. so yeah. Now we're going back like this is where things get confusing. We're jumping back to the aviary we were at earlier. <laughs> yeah, because um, we've seen everything. Right. No, yeah, we, we've seen pretty much have, everything. Maybe a couple of, of crane exhibits next to the servals. Yeah, there's, there's a couple of small things left. Uh, but yeah, here and we the have the end. humble penguin. Oh, wait, we have the entire... Have you been indoor in the old entrance? Don't tell me you missed that. Wait. There is an attic in the old entrance. Oh, no, no, like... no. Oh, the old okay. entrance. Okay, no, yeah. no, no. We're going there, we're going there. Okay, good, <laughs> good. Yeah, that's Thank definitely. God. I think that's actually my favorite part of this zoo. Yeah, so. it's gorgeous. Um, but yeah, so we have the humble penguin over here, which of course, aviary closed because Shame. thanks to the uh, the Inca bird. bird things that are in there. Uh, I'm not sure if like our penguin exhibits that don't have other free free flying birds are they open? Uh, in Bakesburg, the penguin thing is open. So yeah, I guess. Like, I'm not sure if penguins are susceptible to the bird flu or not. I study music, I wouldn't know. <laughs> but yeah. Um, it looks nice, from what I can see from here. <laughs> You've got a, a little cute. bridge, and then like just your average like yeah. harbor-themed stuff. Yeah, exactly. A bit of <laughs> a small size uh, overloan uh, penguin exhibit. Mm -hmm. And a very tacky little playground. Yep, with these beautiful, <coughs> beautiful <laughs> giant book things. Yeah. I like the old entrance. It's yeah, this is the old very, entrance. Yeah. It's very fun. Yeah. What's kind of interesting over here? You've got these uh, statues of of the uh, macaws, <laughs> and the signs talking like, "Hey, this used to be the macaw habitat. It wasn't really big enough for them." So. I think they were clipped, right? 
Yeah, the probably old that ones, too. Probably. So that's why we'll, they're like, well, we want to. Yeah, we want to give them our, a proper thing. And it's just very good. It's a very good thing that they want to do that, and they also show that they want to do that. Yeah. Did you eat here? Yes. They have amazing. <laughs> the fritu is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's great. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was very good. Um. Yeah, so inside here we've got some nice fish. We've got some. Let me see. I kind of lost my train of thought. Where are we in video? <laughs> uh, oh, here it is. Okay, fish. Yeah, we've got the silver arowana and the Oscar. They're just called Oscar? It's just called Oscar. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Great. Uh, I, I'm not sure which is which anymore, though. I think this is Oscar. This is Oscar, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna go there up to is. the reptile attic. So it's such a forgotten place. Yeah, no, I definitely did not miss this. Um, it's good, super cool. Yeah, absolutely. So immediately we are greeted by these tiny little um, boxes for some scorpions. Uh, Smith's Red Knee, Tarantula, Stick Insects, Sun Beetles, and some Millipedes. <laughs> the Comic Sans. <laughs> Just ignore the Comic Sans. <laughs> Amazing. It looks like a, a, a primary school book report. <laughs> Great. But yeah, you got these little peek holes into these small boxes. So here we can see the Sun Beetle. And the uh, Red Knee Tarantula. Oh, God. I really like these little peeks. Uh, I don't, but I don't like tarantulas. No, oh, don't like spiders. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't like going to the show at Oli Oh, uh, <laughs> I would rather die. <laughs> but yeah, just nice little peaks. Not... Someone whistling. Yeah, no. <laughs> a great time. Yeah, yeah, but these are so yeah. nice. Yeah, I think it's cool. It's, it's something else than just having a glass box. Yeah, exactly. A little bit more playful. And then there's education science about all sorts of things, like the anatomy of bugs and snakes. And then here we have the Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman. Which was very nice to see. Of course, we have those in Planet Zero. I think this is the first time I saw them. By now, I've seen them a couple more times, I think. <laughs> Just look at the exhibit, the way it's just mm -hmm. built. I love all of the uh, the the rocks and all the trees. It's the, just very, especially very the big. trees, I'm a yeah, really big fan of. Uh, the, we'll see in a second. Like they go out of the exhibits, yeah. like onto the ceiling. It's really, you've been really to cool. the reptile zoo in Breda, right? Yes, that's and gonna be it's the next. Pretty video. much like this as well, right? Uh, no, of... not oh, quite. Actually, oh, I it's thought quite it was different. Oh, that's a shame. I've never been there, but I thought it was kind of this vibe. No, it's a lot more um, modern, um, mm -hmm. but still very natural. Like, mm -hmm. the exhibits are super natural, but outside the exhibit, it's very clean and modern. Mm. Um, well, we'll talk about that next yeah, week. Because exactly. <laughs> um, that's going to be next video. But yeah, so over here, we've got uh, some tortoises. I'm not 100% sure which is which, because there's like two... Which one do you have written side down? Side. Um, I just have tortoise written down. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't, um, I accidentally didn't film the signs, so I'm not... It's probably like Greek or Hermans. Yeah, I think one of them... Uh, oh wait, oh, we can oh, actually, oh, oh. oh, we can actually see it. Most landscape, but no clue. Oh, the, look at them, there they are. Oh uh, yeah, here they are. Wait, These so are really group. cool, yeah. They're really rare. Rings of Longus, yeah. They're awesome. I'd never seen or heard of these before either. Yeah. Which I guess that's what's really nice. Um, yeah, that's what's cool about CISO. You just, yeah, these stuff you've never of heard species. about. species, exactly. These gotchas and this. Because and that's actually something I think a lot of people will kind of like the, the general public would kind of skip over. Yeah, like uh, when These I was a little gems for us soon. Nerds. Yeah, exactly. Like at this point, I'm actually interested in seeing every animal and like finding out what it is. 
very good one of us. One, one of, of us. us. One of <laughs> You've become corrupted by us. Very good. Um, also, we just saw on the sign, we saw Moses Hillpot. Uh, that's just a Greek tortoise. <laughs> <laughs> so, look at how active they okay. were as well. Like It was yeah. just jumping around, it's looking around. It's such a pretty exhibit. Especially if you imagine this was just in the old entrance. It's one of the mm -hmm. first they built, probably. That's crazy. The amount yeah, of care put into this. I'm not sure if it might have been renovated or something. Yeah, probably. But yeah, here we've got an anaconda. Yeah, green anaconda. I think so, yeah. Really Gorgeous. Cool. <laughs> Head <laughs> up <laughs> against a rock. But yeah, this is where you can see like these tree things just yeah. going all the way. And there's another one. And they got a pretty sizable uh, exhibit when you count like the two areas. But yeah, this yeah, it's is what I'm like, talking about. Like the country Chile, it's like a very <laughs> yeah, the one. country Chile, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, the quarries. Yeah, I don't think I saw those, oh. but I might be wrong actually. It's been a while since I've edited this video because <laughs> it, it took us a while to get a, a recording date set down. Yeah, true. But yeah, no, I don't think I saw those. No, I doubt they even have them still because the past two times I've been here, you, I didn't see them either. Yeah. And I don't have a lot of hiding space as far as I can see. But yeah, just look at those. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So cool. Yeah, then on the other side, it looks like they removed some kind of sign here. <laughs> yeah, but this, this was never. This wasn't always for the ringtail mongooses. Mm -hmm. Obviously, because there's a tub. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, probably exactly. some other reptile, something. Yeah, a crocodile or a snake. Yeah, over here we've got. Oh, Kida monsters, right? Uh, I think this one is the Mexican beaded lizard. Okay. Never and mind. then the next one is the Kida monster. But yeah, it's a very nice. Very slow. Very slow, yeah. I thought for a second the the fire hose was in the exhibit. <laughs> yeah, no. Was it the, the reflection? Reflections play funny <laughs> games. That would be great. <laughs> I mean, you never know what kind yeah, of arsonist exactly. mess can be the lizards we have here. <laughs> the, the heated lamb might overheat. <laughs> Light them on fire. But no, it's on the opposite side. Yeah. Sad. Careful. Oh yeah, here's the, the bio. Um, uh, Time. Yeah, yeah. We also saw them like at the hyenas. There was like a, a grassland biome. That's cute. Uh, I like that. It's cute. Yeah. That's it's it's cute. it's kind of interesting how like zoo games are always very focused on biomes, but zoos themselves, not not always. Yeah. Not quite, not quite as much at least. Yeah, biomes are often very arbitrary because like, <laughs> come on, the biome sand. Really? Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's all, all like... Because even here you have the, the, the Mexican thing and these Kila monsters are like from the States, right? So that's very different biomes. Kind of closely related to both with sand, but... Yeah, and it's also just for a lot of animals can't really be pinned down to a yeah, specific exactly. biome. Like if you look at an aardvark, aardvark just live throughout all of Africa. Yeah, what's the bile of a, of a white stork? God knows. <laughs> Everything. The air? I mean, if sand is a biome, I think air <laughs> could be as well. <laughs> hey, that was kind of interesting. There was like a little education sign yeah. um, about autism. Uh, which I thought was cool. Um, I've been really interested in uh, kind of obscure, weird education signs at zoos that are like <laughs> about completely like off-topic things when you think about zoos, like this one had a sign about autism. Uh, we'll see more interesting signs at like uh, Blydorp, which has uh, signs about the trains. Uh, Dierreich has a sign about uh, like high voltage electricity lines. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that exhibit is so cool in the end, right? <laughs> So yeah, um, I thought this one was a very nice one to add to that collection of <laughs> very good weird off-topic. Yeah, here we have the uh, mandarin, mandarin duck and the red-breasted goose. I'm pretty sure we just saw the goose. Yeah, 
I'm not sure where the man ray ducks are. Yeah, you had me messed up for a second. I was questioning myself, like, wait, that's not a man ray duck, right? <laughs> and then we have this. Uh, I right? This weird little viewing point. I, <laughs> this one confuses me. Yeah, it is very confusing. You've got this, um, like, inlaid thing into the habitat, but then you block the best viewing point with a bush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bit odd. But, it's yeah. a pretty exhibit, though. It's a nice exhibit. Uh, and it's, of course, yeah, you mentioned the Dick Dick, um, which... African um, Spirit Tortoise. Uh, African Spirit Tortoise, and there's also a, a, a Demoiselle Crane standing Yeah, I thought it. I saw one. So. I wasn't yeah. sure if it was one or it was a rock. Uh, the that tortoises, new, think, of yeah. course, were also inside, because it was pretty cold out still. Yeah. Yeah, then we have this over oh. here. This is a Zizu oh, yeah. College. <laughs> Uh, which has a really cool, like, green roof, which I thought was pretty nice. Oh, it does? Um, and uh, the place was reserved because it was like a birthday party. Oh, that's um, but, a shame. But luckily, uh, an employee walked by and I asked him uh, when the reservation was going to show up. And he was like, you got five minutes. <laughs> so <laughs> um, we're going to take a little look inside after we Very look at good. the Demoiselle Crane over here. So yeah, um, what's kind of weird about, uh, there's so many references to animals that are not in the zoo at all. I don't know if they were, if they used to be, but I highly doubt that. Uh, of course, yeah. here we have the uh, red deer, the <laughs> no, those were never Kuda real. Kudu, Cape Buffalo. Um, yeah, I doubt that they ever held those, but yeah, they haven't. But yeah here on the inside got a couple of terrariums so this one is for the um the uh, vietnamese crocodile lizard and there's also some signs about um, how they are helping this endangered species uh, but overall the real highlight of this room is just all the skulls and taxidermy and horns and it's really cool Another Viscaccia. Yeah, another Viscaccia. And a Kawari. You did see the Kawari. Oh, wow. Well, you can add it to the list. <laughs> but yeah, just all these birds are so well taxidermied. This is really not a room I would have wanted to miss out on. Like, it's really cool. So here we have the uh, spiny tail lizard. I'm not sure. If we actually see the lighting it. wasn't doing you any favors with the reflection. Yeah, it's whatever. Uh, it, the time limit also wasn't doing me yeah. any favors. I was like, okay, quickly, quickly, quickly record everything. Oh <laughs> man! But yeah, we've got all type, kinds of primates, primates, and uh, just yeah, too much to take in almost, but really cool. I think this is pretty much like every species of owl. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, I love these little classroom things. Um, just Bakersbergen has it a little bit, like it's pretty small in Bakersbergen. At the entrance there for one, right? Yeah, and then Amersfoort had a pretty, pretty big one. It wasn't like a classroom, but I did have like a museum bit like this. It's just so cool to see. Uh, like it's a completely different side of things, because taxidermy of course is not as exciting. Uh, <laughs> Look at them! As living animals. Yeah. These are the uh, European glass lizard. Kind of vibe in there. But yeah. I, I don't think I've actually ever seem like a, a classroom classroom that's like actually i actually big square has one how did i think of it uh -huh. uh, <laughs> i've never been inside that one though yeah you've never been in big square so how could you remember <laughs> yeah i know it's just like a couple times <laughs> yeah even some gemstones i really wonder what uh when you like reserve a birthday party here like, to what, do, yeah. What, what kind of things they do. Uh, like, do they just take out some random things to talk about? Or... But, 
they definitely have plenty of topics to talk about. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> There's plenty of things here. Yeah. Last but not least, we have the Golden Poison Dark Frog. Always fun. And I think we can already hear the kids approaching. So I had to, <laughs> I had to <laughs> make my way out. Very fast. Really quickly, the last wall. Just more birds. What are Penguin. That's very well texted, Hermit, yeah. Yeah. I wonder... I wonder how, like, they got uh, most of those things. Because, like, how do you get, like, a Cape Buffalo skull? Yeah, no <laughs> Or clue. things like These that. These are so big. It always messes mm. me up when I walk here. I'm like, Jesus. Yeah. It's the Saurus Crane. Yeah. Crazy. And yeah, now we are kind of getting slowly to the end. We have a couple yeah. more habitats left. But yeah, we've got some loud, <laughs> some loud helmets and guinea fowls. Yeah, I believe this is the exhibit with like a gate in it, right? Which they can open up and just have them roam around. One of oh, these I, exhibits has that. I guess it. Probably this one, then. I'm not sure, I yeah, didn't really pay attention to that. But yeah, they were just being loud, mostly. Yeah. Uh, once again, the Kaushik Foxes. Yeah, and we are heading back, like, with the layout of this, yeah, and here's the sign about invasive species. Oh yeah. So, talking about how the Nutria and the Raccoon and stuff like that uh, aren't allowed to be held anymore, basically. But now you've seen everything. Oh no, wait, there is one more exhibit. Two. Yeah. There's, there's a couple more little things that we still have to pass. Yeah, this one. Over here we've got uh, some uh, rabbits? Yeah. Guinea pigs? Oh, guinea pigs. Both. I think both. And you've got this little ladder to climb in if you want to move <laughs> them. But I, uh, I feel like. Scared them away once. <laughs> I, had the, I had the feeling they weren't very interested, so. Um, I just left them. I've just left them be. And here we've got another one of those small round aviaries with some crows, just like we saw at the entrance. There's some more crows here. Very pretty. Yeah. And uh, as we walk around here, we also get to see some some backstage stuff, which is kind of neat. Um, but yeah, around here I was like. Uh, oh, this is actually not a crow, this is a raven, whoops. Um, <clears throat> uh, around here I was like starting to doubt, like, did I see everything? <laughs> was that really all? But yeah, there's and just it's the back of the Alpine area. Yeah, the back of the Alpine area, and there's some more signs about like, um, conservation Birds. and all sorts of things. <clears throat> How they're helping the breeding programs. And over here we get to see the backstage of the otter habitat, which was quite interesting. They've got some like tunnels to get from the uh, backstage or from the indoor area to the outdoor area, and you can see them kind of crawling around in there. <laughs> That's great. But yeah, uh, I think this goes to some other backstage areas, and then there's a couple more habitats around here. <clears throat> oh yeah, of course, this one. Yep. So here we go. Some bird. I don't know which bird this is. I wrote down a Dunno bird and I <laughs> almost <laughs> said it as if that's the species, but I'm pretty sure I just meant I don't know what bird this is. Um, but yeah, it's kind of crammed here. Yeah, now with the uh, construction it is. But yeah, over here is another cool, pretty, pretty cool aviary. I'm not sure about the use of glass for an aviary. I'm not sure about the use of glass in general. <laughs> I mean, it's... For me, it always just feels very different with glass or to, to have... It, I don't know, it just makes it feel more less real or something. I mean, oh. if it's used if it's used well, uh, glass can be very immersive. Yeah. But, yeah. So over here, uh, this aviary has um, white-cheeked turacos, yellow-spotted hyrax, <laughs> black-cheeked lovebird, and the uh, white brown kukal. Such a and weird combination of species. I, li I do like that sign over there. It's like South Africa. Yes. Yeah. This, this many kilometers that way. 
the Nambia that way. Whatever. But yeah. The clouded leopards again. This is the other side of the clouded leopards. And they I mean you know, when you like add everything up, they do have a fair amount of yeah, space. They do. It just doesn't look it's, it's kinda like chill again. <laughs> yeah, it looks it's, small. It looks but quite small, but there's a lot and also an indoor area. As we already mentioned, a lot and of like cloud leopards are deceptive, deceptively small. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's one of the smallest big cats, right? It is the smallest. Every time I see them, I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Very tiny. that is uh, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, still didn't see them. That's <laughs> oh, such a shame. Go to Awans. There you can see them. All right, good to know. Yeah, you should go to Awans <laughs> anyway. Regardless, but... yeah. Gotta see the pandas and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Are the is the baby still there? <laughs> it is. It's still small. So okay. go. <laughs> go, go while you while you still can. <laughs> absolutely. Because I think soon it's going to have to go back to China because I yeah. think that's the thing. So, and you you'll kick yourself if you never get to see a baby a giant panda. Yeah, that would suck. Uh, yeah, now we're back here. Yeah. I think you've skipped one exhibit, Goron. The yeah, wolverines. I think, I think we're still going there. Okay. Cool. Or wait, is the wolverines at the start? Yeah, the entrance. Yeah, no, I missed that. Ooh. I didn't know yeah, it's, that out, was a it's outside of the zoo. It's really odd. Yeah, I didn't notice that was happening because there's also like a banner in front of it, so you can't really yeah, look true. inside. Uh, but yeah, these well, are this... the final. Oh, definitely. Yes, what? we got the the palace cat over oh, here. Great. Which I when, think when this was all very new, it was very ugly because it was all, and I hated this area when it was very new because then there was no foliage and stuff. But now that the foliage is here, it looks very cool. Yeah, it's really great. and we got the same kind of rock modes. And yeah, exactly. Stuff. The palace cat itself went inside like right as I approached, so I didn't catch it. Oh, on it's camera. a shame. But it's actually kind of interesting how they stacked the backstage areas on top of each other mm -hmm. here. Uh, yeah, here we have. Uh, yellow throated martins. Uh, I think we saw a habitat for them. Yeah, the well. other side with the uh, the one I liked so much. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, they weren't outside there, so I like this one. Yeah, <laughs> it actually fair. has the animals. Because yeah, that's fair. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is uh, another uh, little aviary. I'm not like sure how how much I like these. Yeah, this doesn't. Uh, well, I mean, the surroundings make make it a lot better. Yeah. The bamboo. But just the uh, just the mesh towers. Yeah. It's just the the perception it gives off is not great. Yeah, true. But yeah, this is uh, the binturongs again, and then we are back over here. So that's pretty much everything. So this I forgot to show earlier, the <laughs> Aboriginal signs. And now we're going to leave through the gift shop, and that's pretty much it, so... Lukoshi, thank you for joining once again. Yeah, thank you for having me once again. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing a zoo that you were once again quite familiar it's with. It's always fun to walk through a zoo. It's always great. I really like these zoo tours. It really makes me feel like I'm there. <laughs> which is yeah. great. It was, uh, it was definitely a fun zoo to visit. Uh, I liked... Good. It, it definitely has a lot of inspiration in like the old and new uh, the quite different design approaches that they take, even yeah. though I don't always agree with them. <laughs> um, but I, it's definitely nice to see, like, um, one thing I really like with this series is to, just to show what's out there. And yeah, yeah, exactly. This is a, definitely a different approach that you can take. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's look at all these signs and whatever. <laughs> definitely some unique gift shop items as well. Yeah, really. That's fun. <laughs> but yeah, going out, that was it. Uh, thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next suit tour. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>